In 1950, the median price for a house was around $7,500. Nowadays, $7,500 would not even get you close to a house. So how did this happen? Well, I'm sure most of us know that this is due to inflation. But that's just a very common term that's thrown around a lot. Now, what a lot of us might not know is why inflation happens and why it happens all the time. So that's what this video is for. Welcome to inflation explained through Minecraft. I hope you enjoy. So first, inflation, or the general increase of prices over time, happens everywhere, in every economy, pretty much all the time. Now there are very rare periods in time where countries experience deflation, but for the most part, prices always go up over time. Now the reasons that inflation occurs comes in three main forms. Demand pull inflation, cost push inflation, and built-in inflation. So to begin, let's explore demand pull inflation. In order to visualize this, we're actually bringing back Explosion Inc, our old Minecraft company. I've missed you, you're back. Okay, let's say that Explosion Inc produces 60 TNT a day, which matches the usual customer demand. But then suddenly, griefing becomes super popular for whatever reason, and Explosion Inc. sees, dare I say, an explosion of new customers coming to their store. Their previous production rates of 60 TNT a day is now not enough. So in order to increase their production, they need to hire more people. However, if Explosion Inc. wants to attract more potential employees to hire, they need to 1. Increase the wages of whoever they're about to hire, and 2 increase the wages of their current employees to ensure that they stay with Explosion Inc. These two factors heavily increase the cost of production for this company, so they need to increase the emerald price for their TNT to keep up. Now this scenario only looks at one company, so imagine this new griefer movement happening in a huge area with tons of people going to every single TNT store. It's all going to trigger the effects of needing new employees to match the demand leading to higher prices for all of these companies. So now, there's a general increase in the price of TNT. The newfound demand of TNT pulled the price of it up, leading to inflation. Now let's look at the second reason, cost push inflation. The first reason involved demand, and so the second reason will probably be supply. For this, let's go back to Explosion Inc. In order for them to make TNT, they need two things, sand and gunpowder. Their main sand provider is from a company called Sand Retrievers. Now let's say that the Sand Retrievers experienced some sort of disaster. Like the Griefers from earlier got to their drill and blew it up. So now Sand Retrievers, while repairing their drill, has to increase the price of their sand, so they can still make the same amount of emeralds each day. This in turn affects Explosion Inc, since now a core ingredient of TNT is more expensive, causing the production cost to increase. Explosion Inc. now, similar to Sand Retrievers, has to increase their price of TNT in order to stay afloat and make the same amount of emeralds. Now for something as basic and raw as sand, their increase in price from Sand Retrievers can have many more consequences than just Explosion Inc. Any TNT producer in the area that relies on sand from this company will also have to increase their prices, as well as any other company that uses sand from Sand Retrievers in general. A good example of this would be any company that uses concrete, since that's also a key ingredient. So this increase in cost of sand pushes all the prices up for many firms, which causes inflation. Now let's look at the last main reason for inflation, built-in inflation. This one is a lot easier to visualize. Let's say that Zero here works a job at Explosion Inc. He watches the news and worries about inflation. He believes that in the near future, everything will be more expensive. So he goes to his boss at Explosion Inc. to try and negotiate a higher pay, so that he can live in that future scenario. Now this wouldn't be too bad if it was just him, but let's say that a bunch of people all believe that inflation is going to affect their lives pretty badly. And so they all go to Explosion Inc. to negotiate a higher pay. This will have a real impact on Explosion Inc. because they have to pay a lot more emeralds to their employees. Which means, with the same logic of the cost push inflation, they have to raise their prices. So you can see how the expectation of inflation 
has actually caused inflation to occur. This is a positive feedback loop because the inflation expectation caused inflation, which then causes more people to be worried about inflation and then more inflation will happen and so on. Now this can also happen on the business side as well. If Explosion Inc. expect more inflation in the future, they might be more prone to increasing their prices on TNT to try and profit and prepare. And of course that's more price increases, which causes the expectations to occur and you know, whatever, you get the idea. So in the end, you might notice that all of these reasons are very plausible and could happen to any business at any time. And that's exactly why inflation is considered normal and even good for an economy in moderation. No matter what, these reasons will happen. However, when the inflation starts to increase and decrease out of control and unpredictably, that's when it's considered very bad and dangerous, not only for the economy, but for the people as well. So make sure you always stay aware. Anyways, hopefully you learned something new. Best of luck with your studies, and bye bye